Hey friend, Kat Clawson here. Welcome to my studio. Wanted to update you on the Top Hat Project. So since um, we last visited, I created this portrait of Lincoln and he has no beard. So this means it prior to the presidency. Here's a portrait of Standing Lincoln and Lincoln was on the battlefield when this photo was taken. Lincoln loved visiting the troops. He went to the battlefields often, and he didn't want to be disconnected from literally the carnage. He wanted to know about the death. He wanted to realize how important the fight was, and the loss, and the magnitude of everything, and the importance to press on to keep our nation together. Um, on the front of the top hat, I've got an illustration of the statue in the Lincoln Memorial. Now the actual statue is made of marble that came from Atlanta, Georgia. The statue is 19 feet high. There are 36 columns in the Lincoln Memorial and there's a reason for that number. There were 36 states in the Union under Lincoln's administration. So each column represents one of those states. And at the top of each column, there's a Roman numeral um, letting us know what year the state um, was brought into the United States. So today, I've got something extra for you. I want to show you a little trick I figured out. Um, I am trying to figure out what to do with the brim. And um, I made it like a color test plate. Um, with this, I can hold up different colors such as how would red look? How would a sky background look? What about if I painted it all black? This gives me a little bit of an idea, like a sneak preview. But as you can see, I decided to go with a sky background. What do you think? So I wanted to take a minute and uh, paint a little bit for you. I'm using a mop brush and it gets its name because it looks like a mop that you might clean your floor with. So I've loaded it with Fellow Blue and Titanium White at the same time. And it's just a fun process of going around and about and dotting to give it a nice bounce to and a feathered touch and, and go quickly. You don't have to make this a slow, long process. Just make your way around, and then when you get up to these tight spots, you can pick up a different brush. It's similar to a mop, but it's got longer bristles. And you can go right up in there, as you can see, and uh, get up to the edge. And don't worry, if you get some paint on that, that black band, you can always go back with black and touch that up. One other thing I did while you were away is I extended the painting onto the top of the brim. 3D objects are tricky because they've got many sides and you've got to attend to all of them. But I kind of like the idea of just extending the painting. Um, like there you've got the driveway up to the White House. I thought that was kind of fun. You can just kind of get an idea of how that looks. I've got about one more session left on this, and um, then it will all be done. Take care, friend. I love you very much. And remember, it's always love.